Hello and welcome back to uh, the Tuesday David 67 Celtic News YouTube uh, video. Um, today's video primarily going to be a little profile scouting update on a player called Etienne Vassin, who is said to be at the very top of Celtic's uh, goalkeeper recruitment list. Also going to do a wee a bit of update on one of uh, Celtic's key players coming back from injury and a wee brief roundup of um, how the loans have gone for a few of our first team squad who were sent out on loan uh, in the winter window. Um, uh, to gain further first team football. So, um, as you may have seen uh, on various different footballing sites and Celtic sites, Celtic are said to have made a concrete offer to Etienne Vassin, 28 year old Dutch goalkeeper, plays for Valvik, who are currently uh, fighting in the relegation zone in the Dutch top division. Um, Etienne Vassin is out of contract at the end of the season and so would be coming to Celtic for free. Um, and so uh, there are a uh, number of people who are a wee bit sceptical in that Celtic are looking to make a free agent, free transfer signing rather than spending big bucks. I personally don't particularly care whether someone comes for 5 million, 10 million, 15 million or 20 million or comes for free as long as he's good enough to play that role. In the past, um, Vassen has been in, uh, valued in the several millions of pounds worth um, and he is a very well respected goalkeeper within Dutch football and so um, I don't see the fact that he is coming as a free science, a free agent signing as being a negative factor. And indeed that does mean Celtic would have more of a budget to entice him to Scotland in terms of wage budget. Interestingly, the other team who are said to be closely following uh, Vassin at the moment are PSV, who of course are right at the top of the Dutch football system at the moment. And so clearly, he is a very well-respected goalkeeper. Now, I did do a little piece on Etienne Vassen on the 16th of January. Uh, that was part of a video along with uh, profiles of Kelleher, McKenna and Valdemarsen. And did have some uh, scouting reels relating to Vassen at that time, although uh, the reels were a little bit restricted. And so how I have they managed to um, source a couple new videos, uh, which will pop into the um, this video now, and then we'll do a wee update on his stats and a wee update on how I see him as a potential Celtic goalkeeper, and then there's a couple of other wee issues we'll discuss right at the end of the video.
So just a few wee stats to go along with that video of Etienne Va Vassen playing for uh, Valvik in the Dutch top division. Uh, Vassen is uh, currently 28, will be 29 in July. He has 202 appearances for the Valvik uh, first team with 42 clean sheets in that time. And in the 23-24 season, uh, 22 games with four clean sheets. And he did have around six weeks out with a rather nasty uh, skull fracture, head injury. But he has made a full total recovery from that injury earlier in the season. Over his whole career, he has a 71% save percentage. And this season with Valvik, a 73.4% um, save percentage. Now... Um, sometimes things like clean sheets and save percentages can be a wee, wee bit misleading. The thing to remember is Valvik are uh, right down at the bottom of um, the Dutch top division, uh, currently lying uh, just above the relegation zone. However, it is interesting to note that Valvik's defensive record and goals conceded is actually quite a lot better than all the teams below them and more, many of the teams above them stretching up to the mid table. So I think uh, he does look like um, Vassen actually is a very effective goalkeeper and has been keeping Valvik in many games um, and helping them to wins and draws throughout the season. One way other interesting stat is this season he has a 25% success rate saving penalties which uh, of course is always very handy in Scottish and European football now looking at his actual uh, scouting reels with these two additional ones to go along with the one which you can watch on the video of the 16th of January I think he is an excellent shot, shot stopper very quick reactions very acrobatic and agile is very good at coming off his line to close down attackers and um, spreads his body very similarly to Joe Hart creating a big target to try and get the ball past um, very very brave um, often diving at oncoming attackers feet which of course was part of the reason he suffered the uh, significant head injury um, Go along with his very quick uh, reactions uh, and quick movement over the ground he also um, as we can see from these additional couple of scouting videos actually does command his box well comes for crosses well comes for high balls well um, but also copes well in the melee of a very crowded six yard box um, which also may well be very useful if he comes to Celtic and uh, one of the other things that he may well be expected to do coming to Celtic would be to play a sort of sweeper keeper role as Joe Hart has expanded into um, I was quite impressed actually with his ability to come out of his box make tackles block block um, attackers and also clear um, balls over the top and also does appear to have good short um, distance passing and good accurate passing out to the wings and up to the halfway line. So I think actually um, having watched these additional videos of Etienne Vassen to supplement the one that I viewed when coming towards my conclusions on the 16th of January, I think actually Vassen is a better goalkeeper than I first thought. He is six foot two and a half, so not quite so big as Joe Hart, but around about the average height for goalkeepers. Not quite so bulky as some of the other goalkeepers out there, but I think what he maybe uh, lacks in height and um, body size, he makes up for um, with excellent shots, shot stopping and excellent reactions. 
I do feel still though there are better goalkeepers out there and that there are better options out there but I would have full faith in Etienne Vassen coming in to Celtic as a day one starter if Celtic do go through with this apparent concrete offer of a new of a contract for Vassen to come to Celtic for the 24-25 season onwards. So we would love to see what you feel yourself regarding Etienne Vassen. What do you think of him as a goalkeeper? What do you think his strengths and weaknesses are? And do you feel that he is a good replacement for Joe Hart for the 24-25 season onwards? Um, or, or are there other goalkeepers you think that Celtic could reasonably sign um, who would be better options than him? So do feel free to pop your comments into the comment section and we can have a wee debate on the channel. Now, just a couple of other wee bits of news. Uh, Rogers in his press conference was saying that Rio Tati was just about ready to play um, football uh, again. again. Piers is through his injury rehab and his retraining and the current plan is to arrange a behind closed doors game to allow him, McGregor, Scales, Carter Vickers and a few others game time to make them fully ready for uh, the game against Livingston, uh, which then leads into the uh, very vital game against Rangers on the 7th of April. It does look like, like Hatati, McGregor, Scales, Carter Vickers will all be fully fit and fully ready for the Rangers match. Not yet certain regarding Lewis Palma. But given the stated level of his injury, um, I would fully expect that he'll be um, fit at least to be on the bench for the Rangers match on the 7th, which is good because obviously we need all our best players and best options and options to come off the bench to um, maximise our chances of um, winning all the rest of the games this season and securing another double for Celtic's great history. Uh, just to be update also on a couple of our players from the first team squad out on loan, Marco Tilio went back to Australia, played three games for Melbourne, culminating in a match where he was man of the match with a brilliant goal and then unfortunately suffered a hamstring injury in training and is going to be out for two months, which will give him around about a month or so at the end of his loan period in Australia, back playing, um, but hopefully he can come back to Celtic and have a full pre-season with us and be ready, fit and able to be the great player that he promises to be in the 24-25 season onwards. And the other player who has been very impressive so far on his loan is Mikey Johnson, 10 games for West Brom in the English Championship, one assist, and very remarkably six goals for West Brom, which is an incredible um, upgrade on his goals output for Celtic. Um, given the fact that it was the best part of about four years between his goal against Ross County and then his two goals against Dundee in Boxing Day 2023 fixture. It does look like Mickey Johnson's very much enjoying playing for West Brom, playing on a weekly basis and he has become one of their key players in their push towards the English Championship promotion and um, playoff places. Roger said that they will be looking again at the options regarding Johnson at the end of his loan as to whether he comes back to Celtic to fight for a first team place or whether he leaves Celtic at that time and I personally think best option for Celtic and Rodgers and Mikey Jones is that we all cut our losses and let him go to West Brom um, on a permanent move to allow him to kickstart his career um, as he has never really flourished at Celtic has struggled to um, play consistently and has never really coped with the pressure of being a Celtic player and so I think it's time probably for the sake of his career to let him move on and establish himself elsewhere. So, um, finishes things off today. Apologies for 
in a cry croaky voice. Apologies for any wee um, odd cuts and edits in the video. That simply was me cutting out bouts of coughing. For all those new to the channel who aren't yet subscribers, please do click that subscribe button. Help me on my recovery from pneumonia uh, by cheering me up with a few extra subscribers. It would be wonderful. And for all those who already are subscribers and viewers, please do click that like button and use the comment section um, to um, share your opinions and thoughts about Celtic, uh, this video and Etienne Vassen. Um, we'll do another video tomorrow or at the very latest the day after. And that is dependent on what news is coming out of Celtic in the next 24, 48 hours. And so until then, goodbye and hail, hail.